Joomla's data properly, what you see on the web, what you see market share stats, and if you actually look into it a little bit and make a correct assumption. So if you really understand what you're telling your clients, so basically in this session, I'm going to go through Google Analytics um, and some other data found on the web. A little bit about me. I'm from Wisconsin, the USA. Um, I have a background in computer science. My first, um, I'm the marketing lead of Joomla, but prior to that, I was actually sysadmin, and that's where my uh, love of data comes from. I promise to keep my session short and sweet. My session is right before lunch. Um, short and sweet like my kids. So I promise I will not starve you, and I'll get through this fairly quickly. You can be interactive in my session. I'm completely OK with that. I actually want a little bit of feedback to see what you guys, um, how you are seeing things on the web. Um, but I did bring a uh, shot collar if it gets out of hand and anyone gets mad. Because <laughs> I don't want you to be late for lunch. So as I started going through all of the data, <laughs> with Joomla.org, all the subdomains, everything on the web, backlinks, um, I asked Brad for some server logs. I started going through all of this, and I found five major challenges that I wanted to share with you. We don't have enough data. It's the challenge of today. It's the big data trend. And having as much data as you possibly can uh, helps you make informed decisions. Here's the other issue I had, too much data. So I was looking through all of this, trying to pick out pieces that would make sense to you, that you could understand, and that we could possibly fix in our Get It Done session in marketing. Uh, missing data. Location. We have a huge, thriving community that does never sees Joomla.org. They're at Joomla.it. Joomla uh, Germany has a, a domain that I don't have access to, but they have complete forums. They have translated everything from Joomla.org onto their own domain. I did a few search queries here, and I used a program called Hide My Ass, and I moved uh, my IP address to Italy, and I typed in Joomla. And the first domain that comes up is um, the Italian version. So I'm missing a lot of data that could be very valuable to see how we're doing um, in other places and all over the world. Analytics. Interesting. Ruth and I found out um, Google has a max bandwidth of 1 million sessions per month. And if you go over that, it doesn't track it anymore. But you can buy an extended plan so you can get that data. We got a quote from Google. It's 90,000 euros per year. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> luckily, our subdomains don't generally hit that max. One that has everything combined, so you can look at all of the domains across the board, will get close to, to the max, or has gone over, I'm assuming, because it stops tracking, has gone over on a monthly basis. But individual, individual subdomains are still tracked. Oh, the lovely not provided. I used to love my keywords, so I could figure out what people needed and what they wanted, and uh, provide them content. Other things, um, inaccurate data. Do you believe everything on the web? We have a, down, a CMS download counter out of a spreadsheet, and we have days that <laughs> spike to a million downloads when we average like 80,000 a day. So I have to pull those days out and uh, take the average off of that. So once we have all this data, the other problem is I don't know what to do with it. What do we do? How do we make an informed decision? How do we make changes that will improve our domains, marketing, our marketing strategy? So through here, 
I'm going to take you through what I learned and what we can learn from data. So how do people find us? Um, who are they? Where are they from? The new Google Analytics, and I don't only uh, take you through analytics, but who are they? Um, there is, you can see age, depending on how they're logged in, age, gender, and a lot more information um, with the new Google Analytics code. Uh, where do they come from? What country are they in? What city in the, are they in? And you can dive in deep and uh, find out exactly <laughs> where Joomla user groups are, and you can almost tell the day that uh, they have a meeting. Do they like us? Do our users come back? Are they valuable? Uh, how do we stack up against competition? And most importantly, how do we plan for the future? So Google Analytics, um, we have some spreadsheets that pull from joomlacode.org. Um, social media, I took a look through all of our social media profiles and third party. So I went to three different um, CMS market share domains. I went to um, Alexa, I looked at a little bit just to see how their trends are comparing to what I'm seeing. So how do people find us? Uh, the majority is organic search. I don't think that surprises anyone. Um, referral traffic, direct traffic, and then our fourth is social media. In the next, um, in our Get It Done session, we're gonna work on some social media stuff. I think a fair goal um, by looking at this would be to push social media up on this list quite a bit and make it our in the top three within the next six months or year. Um, and the next piece, uh, are new and returning visitors, where do they come from and are they finding what they need? So <coughs> new versus returning across all of our domains, so subdomains, uh, community, the magazine, about 56% um, are returning visitors and about 43 are brand new visitors. Where do they come from? So the top two, top three, the US, Germany, and Italy. Brian Tiemann um, thinks that these stats aren't accurate because the United Kingdom came in sixth. <laughs> um, what I found really interesting was the languages were not the same as, as the countries. So um, I think RU is Russian. Um, but as I kept going through a little bit more, I found a little bit of a reason why. If you see the two DE, there's two different, uh, yeah. So you can combine those, and I actually think it added exactly up to putting it right even with Russia. So from this data that I just showed you, our top languages, our top uh, locations, countries, how do you find this valuable? Okay. How could we use this to improve Joomla.org? Anyone? I'll tell you. <laughs> um, we're talking about translating. So if I was going to start translating, I'd probably start with Germany. They're converting. Um, they have a high number of visitors coming. And if we go to multilingual, it would make sense to definitely start with Germany 
and um, Italy, Italian. Also, if we did some advertising, if we wanted to advertise Joomla, um, Germany is doing very well, so we could uh, target that location. The next piece I went over is uh, the technology that people are using. So uh, the top three browsers and how people are going to Joomla.org are Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. This is across, again, all of our domains. I went to the forums, and Internet Explorer is actually the second one. So it changes, per, and it makes sense, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> um, so roughly 7% uh, or 1 million visitors uh, every three months. I think I took a three-month snapshot here. So I looked into Internet Explorer a little bit more. Designers, you're going to hate me. Um, the versions, the top three versions that they were using. 11, IE8. The forums had quite a bit higher uh, number with high e, IE8 than uh, 11. So what do you see from the, actually, internet for us, that's a very low number, only 7% of our traffic. When I look at other client domains, uh, easily 10, 15, 50% is very common. How do you guys find this valuable? I've seen a discussion on the mailing list that said we should not support IE8 and we should consider unsupporting IE8. In the back end. In the back end. But there was also another discussion about the front end in um, Another discussion, but yes, I know. The, the back end, I wouldn't mind so much. But the front end, <laughs> um, and the landing page, the IE8 is one of the reasons we're holding up. Yes? Our users, our Joomla users, are coming to Joomla.org using old browsers. Not necessarily, because the forums may be uh, users. Well, if they can't view it on IE8, they can even learn more about it, right? Um, when you say the product supporting IE8, right? And you do an installation with sample data, and it comes up on the front end. You should be able to see it in what? Browsers. Sure, but if you, if you install Joomla and it's not supporting w on your basic install, um, basic browsers, we're cutting out uh, a good seven. So, I mean, both, <laughs> I, both, I guess, is my answer. Yeah, our, we should make sure that everything looks right in IE8, but along with our product, we should continue to support it. How many developers are using IE8? I'll go all the way back to that, um, we don't have enough data, we don't know. Because we don't know from the installs. We, m we will know some because the backlinks from sample data come to Joomla.org. So uh, you can find out a little bit if you get creative. The next place um, I went was OSM, so Open Source Matters. And I went to their most 
their highest traffic page, which was, um, do you see that little corner link, support Joomla? And I found out it had roughly an 88% bounce rate with organic, um, about 70 to 80 for the rest, which I think was, is pretty normal. So an 88% bounce rate, I started to dig through, I had a few keywords. Um, so why the high bounce rate? I started Googling some things. Support Joomla, yes? came in organically. Right. I think there it might be. <laughs> but, and on the Support Joomla page, it's actually talking about contributing and uh, sponsoring Joomla, in case you're not familiar. So it talks about, um, is that correct? It's all about sponsorship, how you can <coughs> So I started Googling, and we're ranking really well, OSM is, <laughs> for support for Joomla, uh, Joomla support. It's on like page two or three. I don't think that's what our users are looking for. I think they're looking for technical support. Uh, would you agree? So I'm hoping this afternoon we could uh, tidy up that page. A couple things I thought about to quickly do it is one, we could just add a link to say if you have actual questions, come here. Um, ideally, we'd want to update the content and change everything around. Uh, the next domain I looked at was events. And events is doing very well, is one of the um, higher trafficked uh, subdomains. I went through their keywords, uh, Joomla de Asia. Do we have one? No. Um, and then I looked through Boston Joomla user group. Is anyone here that was in my Boston session? Do we have one yet? OK. All of these searches, all of these jugs, um, have more than 10 to 15 queries that I can see per month. So 15 people want to go to a jug in Boston. Um, there's over 15 people who want a Joomla day in Asia. And this is only the pieces I can see. Um, obviously, the not provided stuff in Google Analytics. But what else, what do you think we could learn from that information? Make sure Boston gets a user group. <laughs> I would suggest that, and the other ones. Um, Joomla Day Asia, I wouldn't even know how to begin, but we have people who want one. Oh, good. So it is coming. Okay, api.joomla.org. I didn't know if I'd find anything really that exciting here, but I did. Um, can you see everything? The, these are the top pages on api.joomla.org. I found one very important thing um, that pretty much everything but one page had. Um, what do you see? Developers are adopting. That's what I see from api.joomla.org. Next, I went to the forums. Um, after the homepage of the forum, our biggest uh, trafficked page is installation. The installation of Joomla 3, which was quite concerning. So I looked through a little bit more, um, looked in. Um, I always go to the keywords because it's amazing. I also looked through the search queries on Joomla, and I found organic and the keywords that are on uh, within the forums are roughly the same. Installation error, um, installation errors, installation errors, error on install, cannot connect to the database. Yeah. 
how is this valuable? <laughs> um, if people can install Joomla from the beginning, <laughs> how are they going to keep using it? Most of the questions on there are answered. <laughs> what can we add? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Right. But yes, um, that's exactly what I would suggest is putting up a sticky how to install Joomla, something along those lines to hopefully get that traffic. What do you mean? Oh, sure, sure. I'm not a developer, so all I'm going to do is improve the user experience by using the stuff that I have. So the manuals that I do have, um, if we get a contributor to make the installation better, yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. So, um, yeah. You're exactly right. Yep. Yep. Um, error displaying the error page application installation error, that was the top keyword that I found that people were searching for. The thread's like 60, 70 posts. Right. Oh, like an FAQ? How we get the understanding of the issues and the how we can get the information Right. And that's actually just for one category. I could have I could have taken any subdomain and did a whole session off of it. <laughs> The magazine. <coughs> the magazine is a lot different than any of the other subdomains that we have. Um, the locations where people are visiting from, the social media, everything about the magazine does not match up with the rest of the subdomains. And it's not, it, it's definitely not a bad thing, it's just a different user audience that is going there. And this is what I found. Um, the top languages, is Spanish, uh, US followed with Spanish in the UK and then French. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. um, but that's, uh, um, the installs, yes, get install your Joomla installation, but the Google stats are off of your IP ad address and the version of of Google, that's from your, yeah.
Oh, sure. It's inaccurate. Yeah, absolutely. There's, a, there's tons of things that you could go back and forth with. Um, Um, and German comes in uh, sixth and seventh. Even if you add them together, they're still about there. Um, this was amazing <laughs> to me. So their social media channels were quite a bit different than the rest of Joomla.org's, and I'll show you those because you might be a little bit surprised. Um, but Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Stack Overflow, LinkedIn. This is where it gets fun. Uh, Taringa. <laughs> Um, it's from Argentina. I did some research on it. It's not similar to Facebook, but it is a very active community. Um, we're going to work on getting someone to manage and set up an account in our, in our uh, social media discussion. The other big one that I found was Pinterest. Not, none of the other channels had Pinterest. So. In all reality, Pinterest is one of the top growing social media networks. And on the magazine, people spend time on their images and they get pinned. And actually, my first involvement with Joomla was I was the official Pinterest lady. Um, and what I did was uh, the results from Pinterest are kind of interesting because there was no WordPress, there was no Drupal, Linux. I looked for all of these geeky places. And kind of took a shot in the dark, and I made an events category and started putting up all of our logos from events. I started to put up videos and then pin the magazine images. And most of the people on Pinterest are template developers. There are tons of them, and they're repinning. Um, so about six months later, I found a WordPress account and a Drupal account, and um, Red Hat, or opensource.com account, who has exactly the same categories and set up as we do. <laughs> so it was, it's kind of interesting and nice to see. So I would suggest that we get a little bit more active in Pinterest, um, not only Joomla, but as users as well. And of course, Taringa, that I've never heard of until a couple days ago when I was looking through the social media. The next place uh, that I took a look at and I seen an immediate uh, red flag is our returning visitors are very low. So an easy goal is just to, we wanna increase the returning visitors. Although, as I thought about it, a lot of our community.joomla.org ends up on our homepage of joomla.org, which is tracked in a different analytics account. So that could be why uh, the returning visitors are quite a bit lower for community.joomla.org. It could be. Um, that is one that we looked into. It is also really expensive, I believe. Really? No, is that a free one? Sorry. Um, I'm getting it mixed up with a, a different one. Yeah. We looked into a good three or four different ones. Um, the traffic. We can. 
If you were going to take a guess at the top pages on community.joomla.org, what do you think they are? Maybe one, maybe two. If you don't know, it's OK. Take a guess at one of our top pages. I don't think it is. OK. Um, our top three pages, which is 29% of our uh, traffic, is all about translations. All about translations. Mm -hmm. um, so our users and our developers love those pages, and they should stay up to date. But I was surprised and happy to see um, that we're using it that way. Found a little technical glitch. Uh, we have a couple home pages. So it's just a small template fix, I believe. And we all know why we should fix that, because duplicate content will kill the human race <laughs> as we know it. Um, so we definitely want to get rid of that index.php and uh, fix it in our template. OK, top social media for Joomla.org. Take a guess at the number one social media. Well, that was the quiz. <laughs> it's Stack Overflow. And that's just this month um, where it completely changed over. Stack Overflow is running our, is by far our heaviest social media. So yes, that is very good news that Joomla adopted that and we have an official account now. Um, it's bringing in a lot of traffic. I would expect it to go up in the next few months? Yes, absolutely. Most of it's going to documentation, forums, and those are the two main places that it's going to. Oh, extensions. No. Uh-uh. Yeah. But our... But our forum traffic hasn't had a decline. It went up. Um, followed by Facebook, by Twitter, Blogger. Uh, WordPress is in our top 10, actually. I don't think I'd bring them all. Again, Taringa, followed by Google Plus. Um, CMS download counts. Oh, my. Oh, absolutely, yes. I think that's one of our big goals, and it's easy. Mm-hmm. CMS download counts. This is a report pulled by um, the PLT has access, I think, um, from JoomlaCode.org. So I was talking about there was those two big days of growth spurts, which add some inaccuracy, which are in February and March. Um, there were six days that had a, a million downloads. We're still troubleshooting, trying to figure out where it's coming from. We think a host might have something um, that they're trying to, <laughs> that they're downloading a bazillion times instead of using one install. We're not sure, but it skews our data up a little bit. But as you can see, our download counts are growing quite a bit uh, monthly. And here are the monthly averages. So from July 2013 to now, it is nearly tripled. And it's not even the end of the month. What? There's the only, um, it's only these two, uh, March and April, that have the 
the crazy spikes. Yeah. Yep. It could be, but actually, we had copies of the emails, and there were no links to that would have sent it to where this data is coming from. That would uh, make sense as well, but I think we have copies of all the emails that they sent out to their users. Because we posted a blog post that's setting the record straight and how um, you can upgrade Joomla and don't do 1.5 to, to 3 <laughs> with a one click. Um, download since our latest release. So that was the end of April, correct? So generally what we want to see here is the previous releases go down and the newest release go up. And that's exactly the trend that we're seeing. Um, if I go previous months, you see 2.5 pretty a uh, lot higher and we're gradually seeing it going down in 3.0. Um, CMS market share. Who's read some data on CMS market share? Who's done a presentation including it? So here's what I think you should know about uh, web trends and W3 text data and, oh, what is the other one? I can't think of it. And I looked into it. Oh. Let's go back. It's crap. It's crap. It's inaccurate, and they're not tracking properly. We launched three, uh, Joomla 3.0, and these crawlers look for one tag, the generator tag, that tells you you're using Joomla. Um, because Joomla cares about security, we have an option to turn that off so you can't detect the CMS. So in market share trends, you see the Joomla 3.0, and uh, shortly after it, the trends immediately go down. So the assumption is that nobody's adopting to Joomla 3. That is what people are saying. People are questioning, questioning it in chats. The truth is, these crawlers are so basic and crap uh, that they're not even detecting the CMS that we're using. And it follows directly uh, the trend with when we launched. Um, other pieces of if you have multiple CMSs installed on a domain, it will only detect and count the first one. Um, other, there's the web trends you have to install in your browser are built with, is it, that you install in your browser? So really, are we getting an accurate count if you have to install something in your browser? I don't think so, because general people probably are not installing that. It's just the tech industry. And, oh, that's what it is, Weppelizer. And when I looked at that data, it showed uh, WordPress number one, Drupal, was 25 to 30% higher than Joomla. Joomla was on number seven. <laughs> it, it was completely false. So when you look at web trends, make sure to find all the facts about how they're bringing in the data, where it's coming from, how they're crawling the data. If you could, <laughs> we could. <laughs> well. Um, I wouldn't even say it's OSM. Their, their crawlers are basic, and that's the data they're showing. To them, it's probably not inaccurate. 
they ping a Joomla site without the generator tag and it goes into no CMS or Right. Right. They also use Alexa for some of their data, which I think we all know is pretty, uh, it's for some basic trends, I mean really basic, it's fine, but uh, using Alexa's data is not, uh, something I'd recommend. So we had some clients, uh, some actually third-party developers complaining about traffic loss, uh, business loss, within I would say the past two years and 18 months. And a lot of it they were discussing said it was because of these trends. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit with some things that I found. Um, this was the big drop for Joomla, and right about the time when uh, people were getting frustrated or talking to me a little bit about it. Then we see WordPress trends. In Drupal, do you see something consistent here? So I pulled a couple of our template developers to see um, what was going on. Um, some other developers. And <coughs> here's the truth. There was an industry-wide Penguin Panda update. And the main reason is A, for backlinks, and B, uh, forums got hit industry-wide. Industry um, I looked up CNN, it also had a, a decline, but if you went to places such as Amazon or uh, eBay, you didn't see the same trend. So it was focused on one place, which was forum types and backlinks. So we had a pretty major algorithm update that hit not just the Joomla industry, not just our template developers with the backlinks, but across the whole technical industry, they've seen this. Other factors include, um, I was talking to Matt Baylor from the JED. So in 2009, 2008, I think there were 4,000 extensions? What do we have today? And it, it varied a little bit. I think we have close to nine or 11. So it's doubled, pretty close. Um, so, yeah, you're probably not going to get as much traffic from Joomla.org as your competition grows. Uh, other fact, if people like your product or want your product, they will buy it. There are extension developers doing very well. Uh, the template companies, they probably got hit the hardest with the Penguin update. I also f had to fix an extension um, with a backlink in it. And it's really hard because you have all of these installs and not everyone's gonna update and either remove the backlink or, or something like that. But what I did find is if you make an attempt and there's an update and 3,000 sites update, your rankings, your traffic will go back to normal. Um, so that's what I have. Do you have any questions? Does it use the generator tag now? So there's an option to turn it on or off.
Right, there's other, uh, SH404CEF also will hide it for you. Um, I think there's one more extension. Admin tools, those are the two that I know that will hide that for you. I would say, so we're at eight. I did some basic looking into it and I figured out within the CMSs that we're closer to 10 or 12. But, mm, the way I figured it out though was with the download counts, which is also a little bit uh, inaccurate. So I just took the percentage of download counts and figured out a little bit th that way, but I wouldn't use that. We are building a crawler. <laughs> Google Trends is in the news. So that's tracked from news sources. So if your site isn't set up as a news source, I don't think it's gonna track in Google Trends, so I, that's why you see that. Um, where WordPress, actually a, a lot of their installations <laughs> will uh, install as a news site out of, the, out of the box because of the way their URLs are set up, I think. Possibly on news sites. <coughs> um, what did you say about uh, Google Trends? Well, sure. Mm -hmm. It's the main uh, place that we need contributors is writers, so if anyone's interested. <laughs> yep. That's uh, where we pretty much always fall short, are our content writers. Anything else? Um, I would probably add uh, translations to our homepage. When I talk about translations, it's one of people are looking for our, you know, the community translation. So I'd add that maybe in our um, on our homepage because so many people are looking for it. Other things is, <coughs> I know that we're thinking about translating soon, and we could add a little bit of content, a little bit more. But uh, the homepage you can see when. There was a redesign, and the redesign actually increased our traffic after, there was a short dip, and then our homepage started doing better after the redesign. So, there's always improvements. Yeah, you can, um, we can look it up in Google Analytics, we can do it right in our session. 
because um, you can, there's a, that one piece that shows you where everyone's clicking. Anything else? Um, it needs to be set up on most of the domains. There were two, the forums had it set up. I think that might have been the only one. Um, but yeah, it absolutely, I was thinking that when I was going through here, like, I really wish I had this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Welcome.